so many people in our town are finding out the best part about Detroit is rediscovering the city. There's some good eating here, isn't there? It has some great gems that need to be shared. And our photojournalist, John Cellino, he's on the other side of this camera, hey John. <laughs> found capers on the city's east side. It's the kind of place you could drive by for years and not notice. Oh, yeah, if you're on the east side and you don't know about capers, something's wrong. Everybody on the east side knows capers. <laughs> the little east side Gratiot restaurant with a chicken for a mascot. The food is awesome. And a reputation for steaks. Steaks are out of sight. Steaks that loyal customers buy, not by the cut. Can I get a 15 ounce um, Delmonico special? But by the ounce. T-bones, so we started 12, uh, filet, we started six, and it's however big you want it. And uh, we, get some, we get some pretty healthy appetites in here. For over 30 years, customers at Capers have been accustomed to getting exactly what they want. Big, small, or somewhere in between. It works out whatever my belly desires. <laughs> I guess that's the best way I can put it. I've served a 96-ounce steak out in, uh, in the restaurant. Each order is custom cut in the kitchen, weighed, and priced accordingly. We have four different uh, steaks. You tell us how big or how small you want them, and we cut the order. For longtime customers like Colin Love, it's as much about atmosphere as well as a good filet. You can take your friends, family, a significant other. You know, it's, it depends. It's a very down earth crowd most of the time. And he always leaves room for the giant baked potatoes. Hey, can't have us on here. <laughs> so many great restaurants that have stood the test of time. Yeah, some just fell off the radar, but here to remind us about these forgotten treasures is Rusty Young, who created HellYeahDetroit.com right. and <laughs> Capers on Detroit's East Side. Just one of the gems you say need to be rediscovered. Let's talk turkey. And when we're talking turkey, turkey grill is what we need to talk oh, about. Isn't that great? <laughs> sure, yeah. It's, it's one of those restaurants that you kind of fly by on Woodward. I feel that people overlook it. It might not seem approachable to some, but once inside, it's you know a classic Cajun restaurant that has all the staples like gumbo, hickory turkey legs, you know that kind of thing, macaroni and cheese, you know, great breakfast, great dinner, all the good stuff. Sort of sort of must stop on the Detroit restaurant trail, I'd say. You found another great one in Mexican town too. Yeah, I I would say El Nacimiento is one of my mm -hmm. favorites. You know, the owner's kind of always there, running around in a big cowboy hat. The food's top notch. It's it's inexpensive. Great margaritas, tacos, you know all the, all the, the great stuff, all the staples, <laughs> yeah. you know, and it's not going to bust your wallet. So some of my family has a ton of roots in the Polish end of Hamtramck, and you found a spot that I'm sure they've been to many times. Uh, the Polish Village Cafe, delish. Yeah, yeah, indeed. yeah. In, delish. In, indeed, another another Hamtramck staple. Uh, there's quite a few Polish restaurants in Hamtramck, such as Krakus and Polonia. But uh, Polish Village Cafe is great for great for lunch, great specials. I'm always trying to buy the guamki in pieces. Like, I've one, I've two, I've three. Yeah, <laughs> I'll help. Absolutely. Polish Yacht Club. Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, that's one of the more interesting ones I would yeah. say on the list. It, like I said, the first time we went there, it was closed on a Saturday, which was kind of shocking. You know, then we went back on another Friday. They had you know the Friday fish dinner. Mm. I mean, it was top notch. Feel like you're in your grandma's kitchen. Oh. Super relaxed, very old school. Lots of you know memorabilia on the wall, kind of make you feel at home. Yeah, I love that place for sure. That's how we are as Detroiters, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. All right. Indeed. Hell yeah, Detroit. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. All right. I just wanted to say to make sure to follow us on you know all the social media outlets: Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. We got a lot of good stuff coming up. So you got it, Rusty. Thank you so much.